Since the beginning of the Chauvin trial, a group called Brainerd Lakes Area for Black Lives Matter has held demonstrations throughout downtown Brainerd. Our news reporter Chris Burns has more on their reaction to the verdict tonight. Opening statements into the trial were given March 29th, almost three weeks ago, but it only took the jurors 10 hours to deliberate the case and determine their verdict. Such a quick response had some members of the community concerned. Half of me was thinking, okay, this is it. We got something locked and loaded. Um, and the other half of me was really scared. The prosecution and jurors were the first ones in the courtroom after reconvening this afternoon, followed by the judge and the defense. Shortly after 4 p.m., the judge delivered a guilty verdict on all three counts, second and third degree murder and second degree manslaughter, sending a wave of emotions throughout the city of Brainerd shocked honestly i was i definitely thought that it would come back with the lesser charge but when it came back second degree murder and guilty on all three counts i on it i went through a lot of reactions at first it was absolute shock and then i was so excited it was intense i guess i was kind of overwhelmed because um on one hand i was really happy um i think that Accountability was definitely served, but there's still a lot more that needs to happen. There's still a lot more victims that don't have justice yet. Yagi says getting the justice for those victims did get a little easier thanks to today's result. In the past, we've been in a rocky place, but I think that this should give people hope um, that you know, we can move in the right direction and that we can continue getting better. But Bircham states one good result won't be putting the demand for change to rest. Oh, now the protest can be over. We can go back to peace. No, this is just the beginning. Dante Wright and Adam Toledo, two victims of police brutality in the past two weeks. The names aren't going to stop until police reform really happens in this country. Reporting in Brainerd for Lakeland News, I'm Chris Burns. BLA for BLM says they are planning on hosting events this week, bringing awareness to the result of the verdict. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.